Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do my second update for my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is fast approaching and I have only used up one item out of my five products. So let me go ahead and update you on where I'm at with everything. So first thing I have is my Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores. Um, I have been steadily using this. I use it about like once a week and I feel like it's been, I think maybe three weeks since I last talked to you guys about these products. Products. So I've been making really steady progress. I started up here on this, the last update and now I'm down to here. I feel like as the packaging gets thinner and thinner, I feel like I probably have got maybe four more uses out of this because I don't use a ton at a time. But I'm happy with it. I really am enjoying this mask. I think it is a really helpful mask, especially if you're looking to clean out your pores. And I've been really enjoying, as I mentioned previously, focusing on one type of mask. Because instead of using like sheet masks where it's a one and done kind of thing, I can really see how this directly impacts my skin over time, which I've never really been able to track before. I've never really focused on before. So I'm really happy that I'm using this in this project. The second thing that I have is my Avene Cleanance Gel. This is my um, face wash. I've been using this a lot lately, especially morning and night. I don't know why, but I've been in a mood to like wash my face at night, which is why I have made so much progress on this. Um, I, I really am not sure I'm gonna finish this by the end of this timeline because I just had so much. I had so much in this when I first started and I didn't realize how little face wash I use, especially only washing my face really once a, once a day. I kind of just get lazy at night and use a micellar water in place of a face wash, but I'll keep trucking. I'm still really pleased with this stuff, but as I've mentioned probably before, if you've been around long enough, my face adapts to face wash. And so face wash can stop being effective for me. And so I'm sure that once I get through this bottle, even if I wanted to buy another bottle of it, I have to wait because my face will probably have adapted to it after using it for close to like three months. That's kind of where I have to shake things up a bit or my skin just will no longer find that product effective. It's very aggravating, but I, I just roll with it. The next thing that I have is my Yes to Carrots Anti-Frizz Serum. This, as I mentioned, I use it as a heat protectant for my bangs. Um, the last time I was, I showed you guys this, I was up to here and I haven't really made any progress. It's hard for me to actually track because when I try to hold this up to the light since the tubing goes upwards to see how far the packaging has moved, I can't really tell. And I don't really think it's moved that much if anything, which is weird because I am using it a lot. So I don't know if I'm kind of hitting the point where it no longer moves up and I'm getting to the end of the product. I really have no idea, but whether I'm done this or not, once May 5th comes around, this thing will officially be a year past its expiration date. And I just, with the Yes2 products and they are, you know, natural products and things like that, I feel like I shouldn't go more than a year beyond um, its life, even though I'm only using it for a very small, precise way. I, I just feel weird about it. Um, the last thing I have is my Thanksgiving Town Hair Oil. Um, again, I've made a lot of progress on this. When I last saw you guys, I was up here and now I'm down to here. But I'm in like a love-hate with this. I think it's because as the season has changed, my hair and its needs have changed. Um, I'm not having a great hair day today. I have tried. Hair is the biggest thing that I struggle with. Like I can straighten my hair for the most part. Um, but like it's being really finicky right now. And I feel like it's because of this oil. I think that because it's no longer as dry out as it becomes definitely more of a springtime, there's more humidity, my hair doesn't have the need or the thirst for as much oil. Oil or as heavy of an oil as this is you can see here that it's I mean it's pretty like thick opaque type of hair oil which was great in the winter but now it's just sort of like a bit too much so even though this is like first day I have like showered this is clean hair I feel like my hair looks a bit greasy and I think it's hundred percent because of this there's nothing else that I've done differently um, that would make my hair react like this aside from this oil so I'm gonna keep plugging away at it um, just because I want to finish it and I don't want to just put it in my closet and come back to it, but I'm going to have to really be conscientious of using a lot less of this at a time. I was using like half, um, it's like a little like dropper. I was using half of one of these at a time and I think I'm going to cut it down to uh, one fourth of a pump that way maybe it will be less terrible looking and my hair will be less finicky because um, it just like doesn't, it doesn't look good right now, but 
we're rocking and rolling with it anyways. So these are the four remaining products that I have. I'm really hoping to at least get one of these done completely, but I feel like with this project especially, I may be overshot with how much I use things, but then again, I've never focused on products like this before. So it's been very eye-opening, especially with the masks, to see um, how long it really takes you to go through these, because this is 1.7 ounces and I have a number of products this size or more uh, in my mask collection. So it really makes me rethink buying masks in the future. But that's it for me, guys. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.